Coming up, we go on a detailed tour of the new Surface Duo, as well as many of the things that set it apart. So today I'm joined by Vinit Guevara, joining us from the Surface Labs today, a member of the Surface team. Congratulations on Surface Duo's launch and welcome back to Mechanics. Thank you, Jeremy. It's fantastic to be back again. So Vinit, you've played a pivotal role in terms of engineering the integrated hardware and software experiences, and it really represents a lot of firsts. It's the first dual screen foldable device for Microsoft that combines the best of Surface's signature hardware design and Microsoft's productivity experiences. And it runs on top of an Android operating system, making it Microsoft's first Android device. And at just 4.8 millimeters unfolded, it's the thinnest device in its category. And I'm sure there are lots of other engineering firsts that really went into making this device even possible. In fact, so many, Jeremy. We have an amazing team literally across Microsoft around the world that came together to make Surface Duo happen. I'm incredibly humbled and blessed to have been part of this journey. There isn't a single part on Duo that we have not labored over, from the displays and the hinge to the software experiences, all the way to finding the right center of gravity for the device as you use Duo in multiple modes. And the hardware and device experience, I think, really brings the Surface Duo to life. It does. As an engineering team, we set out to build Duo as the ultimate intersection of hardware and software experience. And a big part of that effort also represents a lot of development and collaboration with Google and Qualcomm. In fact, as an Android 10 device, it will still feel familiar with the full Google Play services that run alongside your favorite Microsoft apps pre-installed on this device. So it's the best of Microsoft and Android. Right. So I think in some ways, that level of partnership is groundbreaking in itself. Now, every Surface device, though, has something iconic about it. In this case, it's the dual screens. So what was the significance there of that decision? The genesis is this idea that we had. With Duo, we wanted to build a device that could offer the perfect balance of productivity and mobility roughly within the footprint of your phone. Most of us multitask to get what we need get done, but the phone form factor with a single screen is not optimized for doing multiple things at once. So we ended up designing a dual screen device that was foldable and compact enough to fit in your pocket that can do everything a phone and a portable smart device can do and much, much more. When we focused on building the most delightful Microsoft experience possible, the Android operating system also allows us to reach as many people as possible with this device. In our user research and ergonomic studies on dual screens, we saw a significant decrease in the mental effort required to multitask when you are actually using a dual screen. And I can really see why, because I've been using the device now for a few weeks, and it's really versatile with all the different device postures that you can use it in. The different postures are a part of our signature productivity experience. For example, in book mode, you can drag and drop content between certain apps and also span app from one display to the next. You can join online meetings on one screen while taking notes on the other. Its built-in camera will stream at 1080p video conferencing in Microsoft Teams or Skype. And the Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard spans across the screen to allow for comfortable two-hand typing in Compose mode. A lot of work has gone into the ergonomics of this device. When it's in book mode, you can comfortably type using one thumb with the keyboard indented towards one side. You can also do full canvas note taking with natural inking experience using Surface Pen on one note. And using our SDK, developers can optimize app experiences for dual screen. In Outlook, for example, you can quickly triage emails across both the screens. And those enhanced apps, they bring out the most of Surface Duo's foldable design. But now you showed us pen and inking, and that's really a signature experience when you think about Surface running on Windows. But how did you bring that over to an Android OS? Jeremy, you know I love that question because designing pen and inking experience is close to my heart, having worked in that area for many years in the Surface team. We basically added a digitizer layer that hooked into Microsoft Pen protocols. We use Microsoft's proprietary G5 controller to enable seamless touch experience and inking experience along with two screens and various device postures. And we also developed a new machine learning pen tip based algorithm to ensure that pen can interact with Duo while in hover mode. Outlook email is a great example. And that's great, but what other experiences then light up in terms of the various postures that you can use it in? In fact, many. It's all part of how we think about making Surface Duo a productivity device. For example, in tent mode, you can watch a video. And with our combined hardware and software design, you see a deeply integrated Microsoft launcher. And of course, you can sync the Duo with your Your Phone app to use it with your Windows 10 device. So really a lot of versatility, but what were some of the engineering challenges then in building this? 
by far, one of the top engineering challenges that we had to face was to achieve the unfolded thickness of this device, which at 4.8 millimeters left us with very little space. If you subtract the display and the cover glass, only about 3.7 millimeters is left for the internal componentry. From the actual motherboard to the batteries, appropriate cabling for transfer of power and data, and the hinge itself. Of course, as we addressed the space challenge, we also needed to make sure that Duo was robust and reflected the premium feel that you would expect from a Surface device. Right, so what design decisions then did the team end up making here? We literally had to re-engineer our manufacturing process at a micro level with precision robotics so that we could carefully optimize space and durability. You will notice that with a dynamic 360-degree hinge, the screen is on both sides of the device, and it totally redefines the concept of front or back of the device. We use Gorilla Glass 5 on both sides, featuring 2.5D glass, which is ultra-thin at 0.4 millimeters. We combine this with a polymer stainless steel and aluminum composite frame construction to provide strength while keeping the overall weight to just 250 grams. But core to everything is our dual architecture and mechanical design. Each screen has a pixel sense AMOLED 1800 by 1350 resolution that can go into a luminance of up to 600 nits for improved outdoor visibility. And with a combined 8.1 inch display unfolded, it is larger than the iPad mini. So how does the dual screen architecture then impact the internals? So there's a great engineering story here. Dual topology is an important part of the innovation for Surface Duo on how we have synchronized two visually perfect displays to work as one. This dual topology was also critical to helping us pack everything that we needed inside the device while delivering an overall device experience. In fact, to customize the dual topology architecture, we developed a single motherboard architecture that distributed across both sides of the device, increasing the density of the electronics while improving overall thermal performance. Surface Duo drove us to split the battery into asymmetric scales, requiring us to independently charge and charge balance the two cells. The architecture on the Duo allows left and right cells to also independently power systems on either half and also come together to act as one battery to meet the demands of the processor as it runs multiple apps simultaneously. And I can really see how these decisions then would help optimize for space, but what did you do to coordinate then both sides of the Duo? So, making Duo posture aware was a unique area of innovation for us too. The dual accelerometers, dual hall sensors work in unison to precisely identify the device posture. Of course, the microphone itself is a sound sensor, and the dual microphones provide for optimal audio pickup and noise cancellation. Whether you are video conferencing in book mode or you're making a phone call when the device is folded over. Okay, so performance and mobility are packed in really by design, but given that we've looked at the internal componentry, now might be the time to actually start talking about the specs of the device. Sure. As we brought Duo to market, we went with the time-tested Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor, optimized for dual screen productivity. It has six gig of RAM, designed to meet the needs of demanding productivity-based experiences. We also give you a choice between 128 gig and 256 gig storage, both running UFS 3.0. Duo has integrated Bluetooth 5.0 to easily connect your favorite accessories. It also uses Wi-Fi 5, along with 4G LTE Advanced. Carrier connectivity is via Nano SIM, and it uses USB-C port for charging and to connect to accessories. So how does it do then on power? Great question. Duo actually gives you an all-day battery life. For example, you can play 15.5 hours of local video playback. It also supports fast charging via the included 18 watt power supply. Okay, so let's move on to the hinge because I know the Surface team is known for its hinge design and most famously with things like Surface Book, but the Duo's thin profile must take hinge design to a whole new level. So what I like is that it's a full friction 360 degree hinge, unlike the 180 degree devices that we see in market today. The hinge is pivotal to Duo's experience and we spent a lot of time solving for UX flexibility and robustness. We optimized the torque profile to make sure the opening of the device was easy. And once it opened, it had constant friction all the way 360 degrees to make sure it's seamless to fold and unfold. Also, when you hold the device straight, it holds up straight and does not flip flop. We developed four custom profile micro gears with offset idlers in the hinge that helps with timing. 56 micro coax cable bundles interconnect the system through the hinges, and each of these cables comprise strands thinner than human hair. 
So this is pretty advanced stuff, but if we step back a little, it's fair to say that there's a baseline of engineering that really goes into making Surface Duo a Surface device, especially when it comes to things like manageability and security. There is. With all this mobility and productivity with Surface Duo, defense in depth is built in by design. On the edge of the Duo, you will find an enterprise-grade biometric fingerprint sensor for multi-factor authentication. What sets it apart even more is what's on the inside. It's a layered approach to security from the chip to the cloud, from Microsoft UFI firmware, DM crypt drive encryption for storage, system updates from Microsoft, built-in information rights management, and SSL 3.0 for data transmission at both the data and networking layer. Right, and it's also easy to deploy and manage Surface Duo using Microsoft Endpoint Manager or your favorite MDM solution with flexible management to suit your needs. That's right. For example, if you want to prevent data sharing between managed apps and unmanaged personal apps, you can do that. This means if a user tries to copy data from a work app and paste into personal app, they can be stopped. Or if you've designated Duo as a company-owned device, you can get complete control over the installed apps with the option to full device wipe and more. And if you want to learn more about how to manage Surface Duo, you can check out aka.ms slash Surface Duo Management. So thanks, Vineet, again for joining us today. It's been a pleasure, but where can people go to learn more? First of all, I'm happy to announce that Surface Duo is available today. To learn more, go to surface.com. Also, if you're a developer, we invite you to start building an enhanced app for Surface Duo that takes advantage of the dual screen experience at aka.ms slash Surface Duo Dev. Thank you for having me. Thanks again, Vineet. And of course, keep checking back to Microsoft Mechanics for the latest updates. Hit subscribe if you haven't already yet. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.